In the world of modern military aviation, few aircraft spark as much debate and fascination as the Eurofighter Typhoon. This jet, a product of European collaboration, represents the cutting edge of speed, agility and raw power in the skies. Its distinctive twin-engine roar and sleek design have made it a symbol of European air dominance, and it continues to evolve with new upgrades and technology. And then there's the F-35 Lightning II, a marvel of American engineering. The F-35 isn't just a fighter, it's a flying computer, packed with sensors and stealth features that allow it to operate where others can't. Its versatility and advanced avionics have set a new standard for what a modern combat aircraft can achieve. The Typhoon is Europe's answer to air superiority, fast, agile, and built for dogfights. It's a favorite among pilots for its responsiveness and ability to outmaneuver opponents in close combat, making it a formidable presence in any aerial engagement. The F-35, on the other hand, is America's stealthy, multi-role powerhouse, designed to strike undetected and dominate with information. Its ability to gather, process, and share battlefield data gives allied forces a decisive edge, making it a force multiplier in joint operations. Comparing them isn't about picking a winner, but understanding which is best for specific missions. Each jet brings unique strengths to the table, tailored to the needs of different air forces and strategic doctrines. The Typhoon excels in air-to-air -air combat, intercepting threats and engaging enemy fighters with precision. Meanwhile, the F-35 thrives in stealth operations, intelligence gathering, and precision strikes deep into enemy territory, often before the enemy even knows it's there. Both are the backbone of advanced air forces, shaping military capabilities for decades to come. Their presence on airfields around the world signals a commitment to technological superiority and national defense. The Typhoon is proven in air policing and defense, regularly patrolling European skies and responding to potential threats with speed and authority. The F-35, meanwhile, opens the door to fifth-generation warfare, integrating seamlessly with other platforms and redefining what's possible in modern combat. In this series, we'll explore their origins, performance, costs, and the global impact they've had on military strategy. We'll look at how each jet fits into the broader picture of air power and what their future might hold. By the end, you'll see why the choice between them is one of the most critical and complex decisions in modern defense, shaping the future of air combat for generations. The Eurofighter Typhoon was conceived during the tense final years of the Cold War, a period when the balance of power in Europe was anything but certain. As the Soviet Union's military might loomed over the continent, Western European nations recognized the urgent need for a new generation of fighter aircraft, one that could not only match but outclass the latest Soviet jets. European air forces needed a high-performance fighter to counter the threat of advanced Soviet air power, which was rapidly evolving and growing in both numbers and capability. The Typhoon's mission was clear, achieve air superiority through blistering speed, rapid vertical climb, and razor-sharp agility. It was designed to dominate the skies in close-quarters dogfights and intercept enemy aircraft before they could threaten European airspace. However, not all partners agreed on the path forward. France, seeking greater independence and a unique set of capabilities, split off from the project to develop the Dassault Rafale, a fighter tailored to its own strategic needs. Meanwhile, the UK, Germany, Italy and Spain pressed on, pooling their resources and expertise to create the Typhoon, envisioned as the ultimate air-to-air -air machine for NATO's frontline defense. The Typhoon's distinctive delta wing and canard configuration maximize maneuverability and speed, allowing it to outturn and outclimb most adversaries. This design prioritizes dogfight dominance and raw performance, even at the expense of stealth, reflecting the belief that agility and pilot skill would win the day in a high-intensity conflict. The Typhoon was built as a guardian of European skies, ready to respond at a moment's notice to any incursion or threat, and to excel in the chaos of a fast-moving aerial battle. The F-35, in contrast, emerged from America's post-Cold War vision, a time when the nature of warfare was shifting and the U.S. sought a new kind of fighter for a new era. The goal was ambitious, create a single stealthy jet capable of performing multiple roles, air-to-air, air-to-ground, and reconnaissance, while being able to project power anywhere in the world. The Joint Strike Fighter program was launched to replace a wide variety of aging jets for the U.S. and its allies, streamlining logistics and ensuring interoperability across allied air forces. At the heart of the F-35's design is survivability, 
achieved through advanced stealth technology and a focus on information dominance, rather than sheer speed or maneuverability. Designed to be nearly invisible to enemy radar, the F-35 acts as a flying data hub, gathering and sharing information across the battlefield in real time. Its cutting-edge sensor fusion gives pilots unmatched situational awareness, allowing them to see threats and targets long before they're detected themselves. The F-35 isn't just a fighter, it's a networked node, seamlessly connecting with other aircraft, drones and ground forces to coordinate complex missions. In this new era, the F-35 prioritizes information, survivability and versatility over raw speed, embodying a fundamentally different approach to air combat. These distinct origins define the strengths, roles and philosophies behind the Typhoon and F-35. Two of the world's most advanced fighters, each shaped by the unique challenges of their time. The Typhoon is all about kinetic performance, speed, acceleration and agility. Twin Eurojet engines give it super cruise capability, letting it fly supersonic without afterburners and conserve fuel. Its delta wing and canard setup, though inherently unstable, is controlled by advanced fly-by-wire systems, making it incredibly agile. The Typhoon can climb rapidly, turn tightly, and maintain energy in a dogfight, crucial for air superiority. Its cockpit is designed for pilot focus with hands-on controls and helmet displays. While it's evolved into a multi-role jet, its heart remains in air-to-air -air combat. The Typhoon is a dogfighter built to dominate through sheer physical prowess. The F-35's main weapon is stealth. You can't fight what you can't see. Its shape and radar absorbent coating make it nearly invisible to enemy radar, shrinking detection range dramatically. The F-35's philosophy strike before the enemy knows you're there, avoiding dogfights altogether. Its sensor fusion is revolutionary, combining radar, infrared and offboard data into a single, intuitive display. The pilot gets a 360-degree view with threats and targets clearly highlighted. The F-35 acts as a powerful intelligence and surveillance platform, sharing data with other forces. It's not just a fighter, it's the quarterback of the battle space. Stealth and information are its ultimate weapons. When you put the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F-35 Lightning II side by side, their design philosophies become clear. The Typhoon is all about raw speed, high altitude performance and agility, while the F-35 is engineered for stealth, advanced sensors, and multi-role flexibility. The F-35's smooth angular lines and radar absorbing materials make it nearly invisible to enemy radar, allowing it to slip into contested airspace undetected and carry out a wide range of missions. The Typhoon, on the other hand, is a true speedster, capable of reaching Mach 2, climbing to an impressive 65,000 feet, and accelerating rapidly thanks to its powerful twin engines. Its longer range and high speed make it ideal for quick interception missions and air superiority roles, where getting to the fight fast can make all the difference. The F-35, while topping out at Mach 1.6 and 50,000 feet, is designed to excel in environments where stealth and information dominance are more important than outright speed. It sacrifices some raw performance for the ability to evade detection, gather intelligence, and coordinate with other assets using its advanced electronics and data links. Structurally, the Typhoon is a lighter, twin-engine jet, optimized for maneuverability and speed, while the F-35 is heavier, single-engine, and packed with cutting-edge avionics and sensors. The F-35's range can be extended with external fuel tanks for longer missions, but this comes at the cost of its stealth profile, making it more visible to enemy radar. The Typhoon's combat radius, meanwhile, can vary significantly depending on its mission and weapons loadout, giving it flexibility for both short-range dogfights and longer patrols. But as impressive as these numbers are, they only tell part of the story. Real combat effectiveness depends on how each jet is actually used in the field. Training, tactics, and mission planning can tip the scales, making the most of each aircraft's strengths. For example, the F-35 stealth can allow it to operate deeper into enemy territory, making its effective range in hostile airspace greater than the numbers alone suggest. Ultimately, the true measure of these jets comes down to how they perform in real-world missions, where context, strategy and adaptability matter just as much as raw specifications. Buying a fighter jet is a decades-long financial commitment. The F-35's unit price has dropped to around $80 million, 
while the Typhoon ranges from $90 to $125 million depending on configuration, but operational costs are where differences emerge. The F-35 costs over $40,000 per flight hour due to complex systems and stealth maintenance. The Typhoon, though still expensive, is generally cheaper to operate at $20,000, $25,000 per hour. For nations flying frequent sorties, these costs add up fast. The F-35's higher costs may be justified for stealth missions. The Typhoon's lower costs suit air policing and readiness. Cost isn't just a number, it shapes fleet size, training, and strategy. The Typhoon is Europe's flagship, flown by the UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, and exported to Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, and Austria. It's central to NATO air policing and Middle Eastern air defense. The F-35 led by the US is even more widespread. Operated by the US Air Force, Navy, and Marines, plus partners like the UK, Italy, Netherlands, Australia, and Norway. Many US allies, including Israel, Japan, South Korea, Belgium, and Finland, are building F-35 fleets. The F-35's interoperability is a major selling point, enabling seamless data sharing and coalition operations. Even Germany, a Typhoon partner, is buying F-35S for its future force. The F-35 is fast becoming the standard for Western-aligned air power. Their global spread reflects shifting priorities, agility and tradition for the Typhoon, stealth and networking for the F-35. The Typhoon and F-35 excel in different missions. There's no universal best fighter. The Typhoon dominates in air superiority, intercepting threats quickly and winning dogfights with agility and speed. It's ideal for air policing and defending national airspace. The F-35 is built to penetrate contested airspace, dismantle enemy defenses, and gather intelligence undetected. On day one of a conflict, F-35S slip past radar to strike high-value targets, paving the way for typhoons and others. The F-35 sensors and data sharing make it a force multiplier, enhancing the whole fleet. In a mixed force, F-35S neutralize threats and provide intel, while typhoons secure the skies. Their combined strengths create a far more capable air force than either could alone. The typhoon and F-35 represent two philosophies, raw performance versus information dominance. The Typhoon is a fourth-generation dogfighter, fast, agile, and visible, excelling in direct combat and deterrence. The F-35 is a fifth-generation stealth platform, winning by seeing first and striking unseen. Its value lies in making every other asset more effective through data and stealth. The better jet depends on mission, context, and budget. The most capable air forces will integrate both F-35S as stealthy spearheads, Typhoons as kinetic enforcers. This layered approach creates a resilient, lethal force for the future. The real debate isn't which jet wins, but how their strengths combine to dominate tomorrow's skies.